Hey guys, I want to share my first experience testing the Starlink version 3 in rural Ba, Mexico during the first week of January 2024. Before making my purchase, I watched a few YouTube videos and the general consensus was people were recommending the older version 2 model, I guess for the proven reliability. But despite that, I took a risk and decided on the new version 3 for a couple reasons. One, it's thinner, so it packs down better for travel. It has an updated router with a longer range, built-in Ethernet ports, and as a bonus, it has no moving parts, which I really like. I purchased it on December 23rd from their website and received it on the 29th, which I thought was really awesome how fast it shipped, especially since it's so new. Upon unboxing, however, I immediately noticed that all four corners were warped and not pressed firmly together. I emailed their customer support and they did respond within a couple hours, which I was also very impressed by. However, I think their dismissive response was totally unacceptable. This is clearly a manufacturing defect and it creates an obvious vulnerability for water entry. I'll definitely be siliconing the edges to make it more waterproof in the future, but I really think they should send me a new unit since it arrived defective and I did pay $600 for it. I'm also curious to know if anyone else has had this experience with their version 3 unit. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Other than that though, I have nothing but great things to say about the unit. It sets up really fast and is super user friendly. I powered it using my EcoFlow Delta 2, which is a really nice battery pack and also a great company. And I'll be making another review on that next. You can see here with 60% battery, I can still use the Starlink for eight hours continuously. Once it's all connected using the phone app you can download at the App Store, it only takes about three to five minutes to boot up. You literally just scoot the dish into position with your hand using the app to align it. And once you do that, you never have to move it. So I know the old version two model does it on its own because it has motors, but it's sort of redundant and unnecessary because again, once you do it with your hand, you never really have to move it. So once I set it all up, it got about 300 megabytes a second in the middle of nowhere, which was awesome. I've been to this location several times and we never have any reception. The Wi-Fi range is remarkable to say the least. As you can see, I was standing on a sand dune next to our campsite and it's pretty far away from where I had it sitting on the roof of my Pathfinder. And I was still able to use FaceTime, check emails, YouTube, Instagram. I basically checked everything I normally use at home and it worked flawlessly. The only thing that I had an issue with was making phone calls uh, using my T-Mobile service, which normally does work in Mexico when there's reception, but for some reason it wasn't working. But when I turned my VPN on, it worked fine. So just one little third party thing there to, to make it work. I'm not sure if you'll have the same issue. Uh, let me know again in the comments below. I appreciate that. All right, final thoughts. If you're an overlander or live in a rural area with bad reception or bad internet connectivity, I highly recommend getting one of these things, either the version two or the new version three. The hardware was $600. It doesn't matter which version you get, it's the same price. And the service is between $120 and $150 a month. I hope the cost does come down as time passes. I'm sure it will. I know the service is only getting better every year the more satellites that SpaceX launches, and so it's just a matter of time. I even recently read at some point you'll be able to just use your iPhone with the Starlink satellites, so you won't even have to use the Starlink dish anymore. I don't know how long that'll be when that happens, but that'll be pretty cool as well. Other than the manufacturing defects I mentioned before and the fact that it's marketed as a mobile device, yet it doesn't include a travel case or there isn't even a travel case available for it yet, I still really think that it's a game changer for most people and I know it'll only be getting better as time passes. Even as is, I definitely recommend it. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.